Hi guys, welcome back to Domestic Detailing and today I'm going to be cleaning the interior of a Range Rover Evoque Prestige. Okay, here's some of the products I'm going to use. Glass cleaner, which is a foam product, it's fantastic. John's Top Tip Baby Wipes. We're going to need some cotton wool balls. You're going to need a leather cleaner and a leather polish. Also a Hoover, the handheld one is brilliant for this type of job as you don't have any cables or pipes to worry about. And also a cocktail stick and a couple of microfiber towels. These are the products you're gonna to need to do a proper job of an interior. Okay, to start off with the center console, always gonna be the dirtiest place of a car. People putting drinks in there, sweets, crisps, you name it, it's gonna go in there, your phones, your keys. If it's going to get dusty, it's going to get grimy. As you can see here, it's pretty filthy. There's a lot of surface dust and contaminants that are all over this. So I'll give it a quick hoover. Okay, so John's top tip, baby wipes. Okay, so straight in there for baby wipe, go around, clean it all out, I've speeded this up guys, because you know, it can be a little bit boring, so just clean it all out with a baby wipe. Um, they're soft enough, so they're not gonna damage anything, but they've got enough cleaning power there to just really clean it out. Then what I do is I use all, I use a literally a cotton wool ball, go around and detail all the little parts, and I sort of dab that in some all-purpose cleaner. And then you can really get off quite a lot. They're a fantastic little tool and you can get in all the crevices. Okay, I'm going to try and show you here how dirty this actually is. Look at that. Filthy. Okay, so once that's done, console's starting to look a little bit better, but it's, it's not there yet. So the next sort of stage is I go in with a cocktail stick and I sort of clean out all the lines that are in there. You just want to go around and if you can pull out little bits on the cocktail stick you know it's a fantastic little tool to, for, for getting in there with a baby wipe as well absolutely perfect baby wipes cheapest chips and they're great for cleaning as long as you don't let them dry you've got to not let the product dry because it will create streaking so just wet it all off with a baby wipe and then and then use your cocktail stick and then go back to the baby wipe, vice versa, just keep doing that. And then what you're gonna have to do is then dry it off with a microfiber towel or something like that. But this is a great tool, a cocktail stick. Look at that, it picks up lots of bits of dirt and contaminants. And then once you've done that, like I said, baby wipe it again, pick up any remaining bits that are on there. And then you're gonna wanna go in with a microfiber towel and dry it off so that the baby wipe doesn't create streaking. And then I'm going to hoover it out one more, one more time. And just in there with a clean microfiber towel just to buff it all up. And there it is guys, one perfectly clean center console. Absolutely stunning. Now, the Range Rover Evoque has a high gloss cover. Not a great thought by a Range Rover as it scratches. You can't quite see here, but I did my best to try and show you, but there's lots and lots of fine scratches on this high gloss black product. I mean, it looks great, but it's absolutely terrible. Now, what I found here is actually polish. Car paint polish works really well. A fine car paint polish on a microfiber towel and just apply it in and just literally buff it up and then wipe it off with my top tip, the baby wipe. You're gonna get any residue, polish residue off, clean it up, baby wipes smell great, buff it off with a microfiber towel. And then if there's any bits left, you wanna go back in with a cocktail stick just to sort of pull out any remaining contaminants. 
And then again, after that, just buff it off with a towel, microfiber towel, and you're done. Now, this is an automatic, but I'm going to clean the gear and hit the gear stick, I suppose. And when you turn the engine on, this, this knob will raise up. And um, there's a lot of dirt that sort of sit around the lip because of that. So what I do is I get a baby wipe again, as you can see how much dirt's coming off, and I cocktail stick through it, and I just run around all the lines with a cocktail stick covered by a baby wipe. This is my top tip for cleaning around the sort of gear stick area, and it will pull out a lot of dirt. Then what you're going to want to do is go around the circular part, pulling out with a cocktail stick and the baby wipe again, and then just give it a general rub down with a baby wipe. But like I say, don't let this sit because it will streak when it dries. So hit it with a microfiber towel, buff it off, clean it, dry it. Looks fantastic. Quick hoover and then straight back, buff away. Fantastic. Now guys, I'm going to move on to the stereo. Again, I'm going to use the baby wipe with a cocktail stick in it and just go around all the lines, pulling out any of the sort of contaminants that people are putting their fingers and they're getting grime and dirt in there because you know, they've been eating chocolate or whatever and they press for the air con and you know, it just, it just gathers in between any of these gaps. So you're going to want to just go through each little line. This is quite, you know, a slow job, take your time. Get it all get it all looking clean pull out any of the dirt and then what you're going to want to do is sort of clean the front of this with a baby wipe again Okay, so like I said, just finish off with a quick clean of a baby wipe all over the front and then microfiber towel it off so that it doesn't dry streaky. Uh, that's very important. And guys, you have a perfectly clean stereo. Now I'm going to move on to the sat nav screen. As you can see, there was a lot of sort of surface dust on this and finger marks where because it is a touch screen as well in this in this Range Rover. Um, again, top tip, baby wipe. Hit it with a baby wipe, clean off all the parts quickly onto the screen and then don't let it sit there for too long on the screen because again, it's going to cause streaking, street marks and you're going to be looking at the sat nav a lot. So, you know, you don't want street marks on there. So clean microfiber towel straight in, dry off the baby wipe residue and uh, voila you'll have a fantastic clean sat nav screen there it is guys now just hoovering out the footlock hoovering out the footlock here we go it's going to do it clean okay so once you've finished hoovering out the footwell i'm going to clean the pedals in this car um, I think they need to be done. They haven't haven't been done in a while. So put it put a microfiber towel down once you've finished hoovering. Hit it with a a cleaner, an all-purpose cleaner. Okay. P apply plenty. The microfiber towel there, you can see, is going to catch any of the residue falling off. And then hit it with a detailing brush. And you kind of just want to scrub this up and down. Get it all clean. Um, you can get these detail brushes anywhere online. If it dries out, add some more cleaner. Okay, agitate it. You see it sort of fro fro frothing up, foaming. That's kind of what you want to see. And uh, you're just pulling off all the sort of dust and contaminants, obviously, because this is where people put their feet. And um, yeah, they can, you know, if you don't clean these off regularly, they can get slippy. So there we are, guys. Look how fantastic they look. And you haven't got anything on the carpet. Now, this, this was actually underneath the mat. Okay, so it's maybe just like protection for the car, like, so, you know, carpet protection. So what I did here is I just literally, again, all-purpose cleaner, and then just give it a scrub. 
these detailing brushes are fantastic for this type of work. Okay, so once you've finished doing that guys, you want to get a clean microfiber towel and then you're going to want to dry this off because you don't want it sitting on there for too long because obviously it will show streak, streak marks if it dries. Okay, and there it is guys, look, the finished article, look how clean that is, fantastic. Okay, now I'm going to move on to leather seats. Okay, this is a leather cleaner. Just apply it, spray it onto the seat directly. And then get a clean brush. This is a soft tip brush and it's designed for cleaning leather. And here what I'm doing is I'm dabbing the, the sort of the cleaner onto the stitches. This is had this had white stitching on black leather. So here where you get in and out of the seat, it's gonna get a lot of contaminants. And actually the cotton was starting to look a little a little dirty, so you know, spent plenty of time on that. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're just gonna to wanna to work that cleaner into the surface. Okay, so once you had it all sort of, as you can see, you know, because I'm agitating it, it's frothing up. That's what you want to create because it's lifting all of the dirt out of the seat. And you want to lift the dirt out of the seat before you move on to the next stage. So once you've cleaned it and you're happy that you've got that, this sort of finish going on, you then want to get a clean microfiber towel and hit it and dry it off. Okay, because this, this if, you, if you just let it to dry, would streak. So you want to get it off and you're taking away all of the dirt there as well, obviously. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's one clean seat. So now what you want to do is you want to sort of protect it. So I've applied some leather feed, if you like. It's like a leather balm. And this is going to create a protection layer. And it's also going to create a nice bit of shine, but not too much shine but it adds protection to the for the leather, it feeds the leather. Okay, so clean microfiber towel and apply that all over. And there we go guys, fantastic. One clean and protected leather seat. Please like and subscribe and I'll keep the videos coming.